um, a few bits and pieces to get through. But let's start off with Ivan Perisic. Um, Romano was saying uh, earlier today that Perisic will fly to London today in order to undergo his medical as a new Tottenham player. Perisic will be in England in the coming hours also to meet again with Antonio Conte and sign the contract with Spurs. Two-year deal agreed. Here we go, confirmed. And then Dimazio did follow on from that and says, Ivan Perisic has arrived in London ahead of undergoing his medical this afternoon. Dan Kilpatrick says, Ivan Perisic due to complete a free transfer to Spurs today. He is expected to sign a two-year deal worth £100,000 a week. And Ali Gold says Conte and Paratici uh, believe that Perisic can help mentor and push Ryan Sessegnon to develop as a wing-back, a duo to share the large amount of matches on offer next season with Spurs returning to the Champions League. Yeah, very exciting. Very exciting about um, Ivan Perisic joining Spurs. Uh, this seems to be uh, nearly done and dusted now. Bit of um, conflicting reports as opposed to Dan Kilpatrick and I think Jack Pitbrook both said that he stayed at Hotspur Way last night. Yet Romano and Dimazio both say he flew into London this morning. So I'm not sure who's correct. Because I'm just thinking if he did stay uh, last night, maybe he could have done some of the promotional stuff and maybe this for the socials and stuff already. That might be done. So we could get an announcement today. Mm. But if he flew in today, I think it's unlikely we'll get an announcement today. Yeah. So I'm not sure. But either way... Look, I, I'm very excited. I know Perisic is 33 years old, and a lot of people are obviously <laughs> using that uh, using that um, to say he's, you know, it's not worth signing him on big money um, when it, when he's going to be gone in two years. But I think this is a player who's got supreme consistency over a long period of time. He's just got into uh, Serie A team of the season. He's won the league under Conte. Um, he's always won for the big game as well. I think he's a, v a very good talent. He's got. Um, his stamina and physicality at his age is phenomenal. He, um, even though he's 33, he doesn't play like a 33 year old whatsoever. And um, I think it, it's a deal that makes sense. No transfer fee uh, we're paying. I know it's 100 grand a week, but for a player of his quality, it's worth it. And Conte knows it. I'm sure they would have done their research. Obviously, you have deals like Willian going to Arsenal and Liechtenstein and, and that happened in your thing and my, your mind casts back to that and you're thinking is this going to be one of those deals where we've paid big money and then all of a sudden his legs are gone and we won't be able to shift him but I'm confident that uh, Conte wouldn't have brought him in if he was any worries about that and the fact that he's just come off a brilliant season at Inter Milan tells me that um, this could be a very, very shrewd signing from Spurs. Look, he's ageing like a fine wine, um, Perisic is. And I, I watched him quite a bit last season. He is absolutely sensational from what I saw. Uh, so Arsenal fans were tweeting out pictures of uh, Lichtensteiner with the tag being like per Perisic to Tottenham with a picture of Lichtensteiner. And if, that, if they mm. think that's what it's going to be like, then they've got another thing coming. I'm super excited about this signing. Um, would I have preferred Kostic? Um, maybe a little bit just because of the age and the longevity. I think Perisic will come in. He'll help out Ryan Sessegnon massively. What a great guy to learn off. The mm. professionalism, um, the attitude, and also uh, the way he plays his football, I think, is second to none. I mean, the stats really speak for themselves from last year. So it really is a signing that I'm very excited about. Obviously, uh, you do have to worry about the age a little bit because after this season, you know, he's going to go into next season, uh, 34 years age, he'll turn 35 uh, midway through next season. So you're thinking about it and you're thinking maybe Ryan Sessegnon can take up the mantelpiece next season. But for this season alone, I think he's going to be a brilliant asset for us. I really believe you that. You know, you look at the Champions League final, you've got Modric, who's 36, playing in centre mid. You've got Benzema, who's 34, playing up front. You've got Tony Cruz, mm. who's uh, 35, you know. Players are lasting a lot longer at the moment. And um, I don't think it's anything to be too overly concerned about, considering how he's playing at the moment. Um, I think the thing with Ryan Sessegnon, I think it, I absolutely agree. Um, I think Perisic um, has got a lot to... Um, um, a lot of qualities to um, teach him and to show him about, especially getting into the box, being more of a threat in the final third. Um, and you've got to remember, per this Perisic is definitely a winger playing at wing back, so he's we're going to be a lot more of an attacking threat now when we go forward, especially with him on the side. And he's so two footed as well. Uh, I, I was um, I was amazed when I saw him taking a um, penalty with his right foot in the final of the Coppa, uh, Coppa Italia. I was like, I swear he was left footed. I was like, I could have put any money on this guy being left footed and yet 
He's taking penalties to his right foot. Good, just and then he, he took a penalty to his right foot and then smashed in a 25 yard on his left. It's like this guy um, doesn't know, doesn't have a weaker foot, um, and he's very versatile as well. So I think that's also a massive thing um, going in his favour. And uh, look, is there an argument to say? Um, you know, considering what we were doing last summer, it was a different, obviously we we're going in a different way in the project, uh, having Nuno and getting young players. And now under Conte, it's going to be very, very different. No, that's, this is a clear indication of that. But should we um, go be going in the direction of signing older, older, a lot, too many older players on um, big wages? Could that be detrimental to our future, do you think? Um, as long or as, as long as it's kept to a minimum, it's not an issue. Yeah, I think as long as it's kept to a minimum. I mean, when you're looking at the deal, um, on, from the outside, you know, you're talking about two years only. It's not like it's a long five-year contract like uh, when William got, I mean, he got like a three, four-year contract. Three-year deal with an ex with an option to extend. I mean, when you're looking at this, you're talking about two years, which is not a long time at all. Um, at 100 grand a week as well. I mean, Arsenal just offered Eddie and Ketty 100 grand a week. Yeah. And you're looking at the levels of the two players. I mean, so far, they're worlds apart. You know what I mean? So I, I, I'm, I don't have an issue with that at all. And I actually um, am majorly for it because that, makes me look like it, that we're going Antonio Conte's way. And that's what we all wanted. So we mm. can't really complain about it. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm just hoping we're not in a situation uh, like many clubs have been at, like many big clubs like Arsenal and Man United, where in a few years time, you've got all that you've got big players on big wages who you're struggling to shift because they they were always short term deals. And the problem with someone like Paris is just if it doesn't work out immediately, then you've got a problem. But all the indications are that it should. There's no, there shouldn't be an issue. The only thing is, he's never played in Premier League before. He's obviously mm. played Serie A. He's played German uh, Bundesliga. He's played, um, he played for Bayern Munich and for Wolfsburg. So it's a different level um, phys physically in the Premier League in terms of the pace of the mm. game and things Absolutely. like that. And also, you could argue potentially uh, how much defending he's going to have to do, maybe at left wing back compared to when he's uh, at a top club in Italy, expect when when he was there, expected to win the league and stuff, dominating games. So it's a different, obviously, uh, potentially different role and different level he's going to have to face. But look, Conte has complete trust in him. Um, I think he's been having a stellar season. And also one thing that's also not mentioned enough is how much of a clutch player he is. Um, like he has a way of, he's scored a brace in the final. He's scored in <laughs> uh, World Cup semi-finals. He's scored in a World Cup final. Um, he's He always use, usually steps up in a big occasion, um, which is very vital. Something that we need because a lot of players we have, when it comes to the big occasion and we freeze or, you know, clam up and we don't have those moments. So having someone like him who's been there, done it and scored in these big moments um, is going to be vital and that experience he's going to bring as well. So I think it's a very good deal. I was one I'm very, very excited about and hopefully uh, it's one that Conte's got right. Mm, absolutely. And, you know, we just have to trust Antonio because this is what we've been saying all season. We want the players Antonio wants in, the players in Antonio's image. And this is what we're starting to see now. And Perisic is a big way um, in terms of that direction because it's a, it's a direction that we would never have gone in before Antonio Conte came to this club. So th those are the facts of the matter. Game looks like we're going to get the ball rolling. I don't know. When do you reckon the announcement will be? Surely it's going to be in the next few days. Yeah, I, think. I imagine so. But can they... I mean, they must be able to announce someone because um, Villa announced someone, didn't they, before the window was even open. And his contract doesn't even end till the end of June. Yeah, you can announce, you can announce he signed a pre-contract though, can't you? But will he do all the like the media stuff before then or will he wait till like June or like Ju 1st of July yeah, to announce but, Yeah, that? I'm not sure. Maybe, I don't know if he's going on international duty soon or something because uh, I know his international is coming up soon so maybe they'll wait till after then. Um, but I'm, I think um, they can definitely announce it but sometimes Spurs will want to wait to announce it and just um, wait till they get all the media, social media stuff ready. Mm. So then they can do a big announcement then, get the most attention. So how many other Croatian players have we had? We have Kranchar, we had Modric. Pletikoza. Pletikoza. Kouluka. Kouluka. I mean, they've all, apart from Pletikoza, I mean, they were all kind of good servants for the club, weren't they? Um, yeah. All good quality. We um, have a good uh, Croatian link. Yeah, I liked Cranchar and Choluka was like the perfect right back to go behind Aaron Lennon. Mm. Uh, they complemented each other really well. And Modric is, is Modric. You yeah, know? okay. Well, what can you say about Modric? He was uh, an unbelievable uh, player for us. And um, yeah, I mean, 
I, I maybe Perisic had a word with uh, some of our former Croatians and asked them about uh, what it's like playing for Tottenham. But obviously, look, Conte knows all about him. That's all he has to know. So I'm very excited um, about this potential, about this deal that looks like it's uh, about to go through. And finally, we're going to have a proper threat from the wings now, it looks like, which is something to be very, even if it's only for a couple of years, who knows? Maybe he'll surprise us and we'll sign him for another year. You never know. Um, so I'm very, very excited about uh, what Perisic can bring. How happy are you that, you know, we're seeing deals getting done super early now? Yeah, I'm very happy. I mean, this deal was probably easy to get done early because of um, the fact that he's on a free. But I am very happy that we're, we're making a move um, you say as soon it was, as possible. You say it was easy to get done early, but Chelsea were in for him. Juventus were in for him. You know, two big clubs, you know what I mean? And he ended mm. up choosing Tottenham, which is a big statement, in my opinion. Because mm. not many times you would get a, a player to go to Spurs over Chelsea and Juventus. True. I mean, we don't know how much truth there. We know Juve, there definitely was. I don't know about Chelsea. There was always those. Um, there were rumours, but I don't know how true it was. Who they were well, generally because they can't sign. They it. can't sign anyone at the moment. They can't. No, you're right. But uh, Romano did say that he, um, he chose Spurs over Chelsea and Juventus. Maybe he didn't want to wait. Uh, a bit like Rudiger, who didn't want to wait as well. Yeah.